Short movie review of I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. Yes, the, the title has reached peak stupidity at this point. The four kids prank a fisherman attack basically to set up a skateboard stunt because kids and the the skateboard kid ends up dying and they decide not to tell anyone afraid of a police record for I, I don't know excessive pranking resisting making sense I, I don't know exactly but they make a pact the secret dies with them and this all happens on the 4th of July, of course, and one year later, they start being stalked and tormented by a fisherman, and they try to figure out who could it be, and how far is this guy willing to go? Is, is this just like, you know, I want you to feel bad for covering this up, or is this... I blame you for his death and it's a small town he's got family it's entirely possible that and yeah this has almost nothing to do with the first two it barely even mentions them and when it does it's only very late in the film this is much more fun and surprisingly decent for a you know eight years past having passed since the last sequel it's the third film of the series and it's direct to dvd it's you know very very low budget yeah it's it's fun if you're just if you're just there to have fun with it and yeah, you know, it's got a body count, it's got some really cool attacks and kills, really memorable. The effects really work, some, some really great creative deaths that just look real. It's, it's mostly practical effects. And, yeah, there's, there's a vast amount of stupidity that you have to accept, but... The characters tend to be likable. The, you know, it has a decent drive forward in that the four, you know, get back together. They've, you know, been driven apart by the secret in the year that's passed. They come back together and they try to figure out who is doing this and why and how far are they willing to go. And, yeah, the movie just barely inches to feature length. And in that time, it's just absolutely full of scares. There's some really unfortunate over-stylization. You can really tell this guy usually does music videos. And that it was his first horror film. But it really doesn't take over the way that you might expect. And, yeah, really, if... If you approach it just wanting to see kids run around, you know, be killed by a slow stalking figure, yeah, this one is, I mean, it is by definition a rental. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.